traditionally we've understood colleges and universities uh, as being uh, where ideas are hashed out on their merits, but alas, that is not what colleges and universities look like uh, today. The great danger from within to universities is the growing intolerance uh, for uh, difference of opinion along ideological lines. This is really a remarkable development, so different than it was you know, 30 or 40 years ago. I sometimes joke to my students that, you know, did you realize that there used to be a free speech movement uh, on campuses like the University of California at Berkeley where the students are actually uh, asking for more free speech? Well, free speech on campus is under attack uh, essentially from two quite different sources. Uh, uh, for one thing, university policies are frequently not particularly friendly toward uh, freedom of speech. There are, there are speech codes uh, which restrict the ability of, of uh, students to speak. Free speech zones encouraging uh, faculty to have uh, trigger warnings. But I think an even greater threat to freedom of speech for most students at most universities today is other students. Uh, you know, a, a student uh, can hardly express a dissenting view without being put down uh, by uh, his fellow students. And, and frequently, uh, there are going to be firestorms on Facebook and other types of social media, uh, firestorms of condemnation of, uh, of uh, students who, uh, whose comments are, are, are taken amiss. This, this is having a very real effect of chilling speech. Professors are very often part of the problem, uh, that they egg on students to, uh, uh, to be intolerant toward others, or at least uh, do not take any reasonable efforts to, uh, to encourage or to model uh, a difference of opinion. It's the liberal students who really lose out from this, because as a liberal or progressive student in a modern day university or law school, you can go through your entire education without ever being in a classroom where your fundamental presuppositions are going to be challenged. And you do not have any need to learn how to uh, express yourself and communicate uh, persuasively with people who disagree with you because there are not that many people out there who disagree with you and they have been silenced. Conservative students, on the other hand, they have to learn the skill of speaking uh, to people who they know are not naturally likely to agree with what they say. That means they have to develop uh, habits of persuasion uh, and civility that, uh, that are going to stand them in, an, in enormously good stead uh, when they have public lives in the, uh, in the nation as a whole.